Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you about the uh, stack and its different operations like push and pop. So first we need to know what a really a stack is. So a, ta a stack is a data structure which is uh, used to store elements and we do different operations like push and pop as you can see here. So first we push the elements like uh, 10, 20 and 30 at the index is 0, 1 and 2. Uh, we store in it uh, in uh, in an array only so and it works on the principle of last in first out the four principle so very much of our elements we have put at last it comes out first so like if we have put uh, 30 like here the element 30 so it comes out first so our stack becomes uh, uh, 20 and 10 now the remaining if I want to push again pop it again then the 20 will come out and it will the stack will become of only one element which is 10 now again if we want to put pop at the element then the last element will come out so this is how it works now we will take a look at uh, the C program for this application so, uh, I already made a program for this uh, here, we, as you can see, uh, first, uh, first of all, we need to include uh, header files like studio.h and final.h, and uh, then we need to define a max, what is the max size of your stack. So, I have taken the max size 4, which is it as per your wish, and we need to initialize top is equal to 1. Because top here indicates the index of the stack or index of the array. So here, if you have taken minus one, then it means uh, the stack is empty. Means there are no any other elements in the stack. And we will just uh, globally declare one stack i and e and the element, and then we will declare three functions first for push function then pop function and display which you want to make and then we will come to our main function in main function we will use do while um, do while loop this for entering the elements so in this we will give a menu and we will push we give the options to the user for push pop and display and exit so and then we will ask the user for uh, enter your choice and the user will enter a choice and based on the, those choices we will enter some cases by using switch switch case so if user enters case 1 which is push then uh, we will ask the user to enter the elements so the user will enter the elements and then the then it will go to then it will go to push function and here the push function will be called so we will take a look dot push function yeah this is how the push function works so push function we are passing two parameters our stack and the elements which we have entered in the main function here if we will uh, use one if condition like here if the top is equal to max minus one means if the stack is full like our uh, max we have taken 4, 4 minus 1, 3. So if our top has become equal to 3, then it means it will display stack is full. Else, we will increment the top and we will store the value of our element in the stack. So this is how the pop function works, push function work, works. The elements will be stored in the push function in, in the stack using by using push function now we will take a look at pop function here we for case 2 we have a pop function there we are calling uh, the pop function so we will take a look at the pop function it is very simple uh, if the top is equal equal to minus 1 means there are no any elements in the stack then it will display stack is empty else we will take uh, element is equal to stack top and top minus minus we will decrement the top and then we will print whatever elements we are deleted and then we will return yearly and uh, it will be taken here as n 
so n is equal to pop this is how the our pop function works and then we will uh, for case 3 we, will, we have a display function here the display function call is called and then for display function for if the same condition as pop if the top is equal to equal to minus 1 then the stack is empty or else we use a for loop whatever the value of top is there and uh, we will pr print all the elements uh, of the stack by using this for loop by this display function so this is our program for the execution of the stack now we will run it and see whether it works or not so I'm running it no error now I'm entering a choice so first if I now our stack is empty so if I use one to pop any element so it should show that the stack is empty as you can see it is showing stack is empty uh, I want to push all the elements because I want to push 10 it went 10 and I want again I want to uh, I want to push first so my choice will be 1 I want to push 20 so again I want to push so I want to put the element 30 so it, uh, it is 30 now I want to display my elements so I will choose the uh, third option so my elements are uh, there 10, 20 and 30 now I want to, to pop the elements so I will take a choice 2 so the last element I entered which was 30 it will be popped first because it works on for principle as I said you before as you can see from here yeah, and the elements 10, 20 and 30 so the first element I popped out was 30 so it showed the 30 element has been popped out now my stack remains 10 and 20 as you can see from here <coughs> So my, if I enter the next choice, like, uh, I'll minimize the screen. So if uh, I want to pop again, or I want to display it, so here my elements are 20 and uh, 10, the remains in the stack. Now again I want to pop, so the delimit, that the deleted element is 20. So 20 will be deleted and now my stack will become as this only 10 will remain so again i want to pop so that deleted element is 10 now there are no elements remain in the stack so my stack is empty now again if i want to pop then it should show the stack is empty let's see whether it shows or not yeah so the stack is empty so this is how the the stack works. This is the program tutorial for the program on push and pop of a stack. Hope you liked it. Thank you.